Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to show you how you can move a PowerPoint presentation with multimedia and linked files to another computer. And it's not as simple as going save as. So this is a file that I've already got open about the Battle of Waterloo. Now in this file, if I scroll through some of these, near the bottom there, this is a chart that is linked and embedded from an Excel file. And this slide is a video. Now, if I just go save as and then move this onto a stick uh, and then put it into another computer, the video and the linked data does not come through. What I'm going to do is or package this for CD, as it's called, and then that will allow me to grab all the multimedia files, all the linked and embedded files and any images and put them in a folder which I can then move from one computer to another and it will even allow me to show this presentation on a computer that hasn't got PowerPoint. So that's what I want to do. So the process is you go to the file tab. I'm going to export this and this is the option that I want package presentation for CD. It does say CD, but it also applies in terms of a USB stick. So if I click on that, it tells you there, look, create a package so that other people can watch the presentation on most computers, most computers. This package includes linked or embedded items such as videos, sounds and fonts, and also Excel embedded items. So I'll click on this option and then it asks you to name the CD. So I'll just call this Steve for now. And then there's the option there at the bottom look that you need to look at. Copy to Z CD, which is obviously not many people use CDs nowadays. So copy to folder. If I click on that one, it asks me to name the folder. So the CD is going to be called Steve. The folder is going to be called Steve. And then I'm going to put this onto my desktop so I can see it. Selected that site. I better just put a number one after that because I think I've already got one called out. And it's a, there's a tick option there, open folder when complete. I'll click OK to that. Now you choose, you chose the, to package all the linked files in your presentation. So PowerPoint will copy the linked files to your computer you should include linked files in your package only if you trust the source. That's all about viruses and things like that, which I do trust the source. And then do you want to continue? Yes, I do. So what's happening now is it's packaging everything and then it opens up. Now, when you use this, this is the folder look, Steve1. So if I go back one step to the desktop, there's Steve1. If I open that, there is the embedded Excel information. That is where you need to open up this presentation. So you take this on, onto your stick. So you copy Steve one, in my example, put that onto your stick and then all the information will be in here. And then you run it from that icon. If you go into this, you just got some other stuff in there, which will allow you to run PowerPoint on another machine that doesn't even have PowerPoint that will still work. So you must use package for CD. Otherwise, you'll get caught short. You go to the other computer with your file, expecting multimedia to work, and it won't work. It'll just come through as a picture. I've done it many times myself by accident. This will just come through as a picture, as opposed to a video, which it is at the moment. So hopefully that little video has been of use. Thank you for your time, and I'll catch you on the next one.